Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Endless Legends Shifters. So, we've already got most of the way through building this Seeker 2, so we'll have to just have a slightly weaker unit along with our Seeker 3s. So be it. It's not going to be too much of a problem. Shifting charge does. I'll have a look at that in a sec. Um, may have worked out a while if I'd learned, read more about that in the previous one. So, armies, Seeker 3, edit, shifting charge. Minus of that on a target per movement spent. Battle of and Dark. My sense on target per movement spent. Okay, right. So if you move and attack, they do more damage, which is why the class is cavalry. Fair enough. So our hero is fully healed. We're now just looking at building an army. I'm feeling distressingly belligerent. Um... And in the mood to cause an insignificant amount of havoc. Um, you, I think, rather than just endlessly scouting around, go back and sit on this for a bit and aspirate it. Improve my morale. Roaming army. So they've been spawned by these guys because I haven't got around to pacifying and talking to them yet. Reach level of fervent. Ah, yes, our quest. We go to the Empire. We can spend resources to give us small boosts. So our, our empire approval value at the moment, 75%. I am entirely happy. So spending these would give us a plus 10%. The moon leaf for 10 turns. Yes, for 10 turns, plus 2% science. Minus is an upkeep plus five on that. And that would give us plus five on this and plus fifty percent food. So we're looking at growing, so for ten turns. Use use eighty five percent. Use. We are now fervent. So plus thirty percent gold, plus thirty percent things. So these are all wear off over time, but they're gonna give us Fervent level across the Empire. So that will kick in probably the next turn. So Fervent gives us more food, all the rest of it. So we're now growing in only two turns. So that should really help. Um, but the extra production should also boost this little lot. And in fact, we've got our hero as well. I'm pretty happy that we're kicking in quite nicely. Yeah, these are their magic pillars, which cause all sorts of fun in games. Reach a fervent level across the empire. Pretty sure we have. It says fervent. The empire says fervent. Hoping it notices at some point. Winter. So this is where everything changes. Reduced expansion. City tiles, vision, reduced food, reduced dust, reduced movement. Yes, there we go. Oregon needs us, we should grow in power and wealth so we can do what we can. She requires of us. Faith alone is not enough. We must believe in our cause to have power. Reach a fervent level across the empire. So we've got 15 wine, which gives us happiness or improvement. Titan bones. Massive increase to production. So nine influence in one of your city for ten turns. Zero of ten complete. So to do that, we're currently producing four. We would need to assign all three workers. So I am going to focus on crushing the enemy first. You see our units have gone black. Advanced alloys. That means we can go to our hero, inspect our hero, and we can now equip him. Now we've already got tier 2 iron stuff, now um, I should grab, so the tier 1 titanium, or tier 1 glass crossbow, plus 9, plus 13, plus 6. 
plus 15 plus 1 plus 10, but the tier 2 iron is plus 18 plus 10. Flying Slayer, Point Blank Power, plus 15 damage, plus 18 damage, plus 10. It increases attack and damage. Whereas it improves my initiative just a little bit, gives me Point Blank Power 1. Um, that's a long bow though. There's the tier 2 one. Plus 18, plus 2, plus 4. Plus 15, plus 1, plus 10. So the titanium crossbow is actually better than the normal crossbow. So if we strap that on him, it costs us two titanium and he'll have better gear. That was titanium weapons we got. So what I'll do is I'll probably equip him up. Alright, so here we go. Our research is available as well. So let's click on the science. So one of the things we should be able to get now, if we go over to here, is Titanium 2 weapons and Titanium 2 armors. Since we've got a source of Titanium, we should probably get involved in using that as quickly as we possibly can. There's not much point in getting those ones. Probably should have not bothered getting that one. Uh, I might grab the foundry because we might probably want the production before we want these shipyards where we've got them locked already. Diplomacy, peace treaties, glory of the empire, baron of industry. All right. So yeah, these are the wonders. So these are achievements you can get. So wealth harvester. We are ranking first in terms of resources that we have gathered apparently. Um, with a load of resources. So if you get this, you get a booster for 10 turns. Visionary leader is pacifying villages. Which we've not bothered doing at all. Civilization builder. So if you build the Museum of Riga, you get all these bonuses. We don't have the five, gla the five glass steel yet to be able to do that. Whereas for the sec second rank, we've got build the Borna, the uh, Baron of Industry. So build the industrial megapole. Warriors. Ooh, free counter if you get this particular item. Defeat ten armies of other empires. Master of markets. Prove negotiations. Get dust from trade routes. Where do we get trade routes? Cluster on the top of the garrison slots. Yeah, I think I'll probably have that one. <laughs> Pretty many units, nice GCD upkeep. Don't have any rivers. That's just a fat plus 15 food. Resources and stockpiles, so we won't be able to buy things from the market. Chief buyouts. Plus or minus of the nation slot. Central market. More approval, more food. Yeah, there's uh, more influence. Which, given we have a thing for a quest for that, that might be useful to have actually. So, I want weapons for killing things. Then I want a larger army. Then I want more influence. So, it looks like we'll be going for violence rather than the quest. But we have enough influence to carry on pushing out more units. I'm kind of tempted to see about pacifying these guys, but it's really the Sisters of Mercy that I really want. Who are these guys? Keratin. Shame you can't get immediate information. The Delvers had two, you've got two, two. Sisters have only got one. They were heavy, they were the heavy infantry that I'm missing. And I've got the, if I get the extra slot, then I should be able to get. So I'm going to move into bygone, move into carried. So. Grab a settler. And then I would like another settler. We'll spit out these things and start working on it. So we will build ourselves an army. We will commit horrendous atrocities with it. And then we will get on with it in the interim. Let's just keep growing this city. What we want is build an army. Build an army. So 
So I'm just going to smash through these turns as quickly as I can. Yep, one of my units has gained a level. Fair enough. Which it becomes just that much harder. That's nice to see. Oh, that's a pearl. Well, now I know what I will be using you for during the winter. Pearls. Lots of pearls. Minus five influence on tile, plus pretty much everything else. And that will get me the titanium in range. Five turns. Um, that's actually more important right now, because that's going to produce a vast amount of useful things. Ooh, what was that? Research complete, no foundry. Fine. You've been blurring and cause problems for them, that's fine by me. Pearls. There's another one. Three more pearls. Lots of pearls. Feed me pearls. Because with pearls, I can go to here. Immunity from winter vision penalty. Create stockpiles of various things. Plus even defense towers, plus your fortification on defense towers, retaliation damage. Garth of Alloy, I'm already building that one. Immunity from vision. Pearl of Plenty creates food stockpiles, creates production stockpiles, creates research stockpiles. Interesting, that looks like something I can queue. Yes, I will unlock that blessing. So, that gives me... Alright, so let's have a look. That's uh, two turns until the winter ends, at least. Go back to Madinov. Right, so I can create stockpiles of these things. If I've got no production, I want to do I can just spiff those out. That's interesting. You, you have any move left? No, but you are going to find me some more pearls. While I wait for my army to build up. So I can commit heinous violence. Well, you have a, long, a lot of vision, don't you? There's another one. I wonder if my hero is leveled up. He has. He's now level 4. <laughs> okay, we can bribe people. Improve movement. Improve vision. Better looting. What's this one also give us? Accessory slots. XP per turn. More dangerous attacks. More pearls. Cheaper work you work with pearls. Less reduction to health. Six degree furnace, the more percent percentage damage you do. Let's um get this extra accessory slot. Sieging. Wow, there's a lot of things in here. Um plus one movement. More movement speed. Vision, movement. Movement. So his army can just go even that much further. How many troops do I have in town? Alright, just the one at the moment. Yay! Upcoming winter effect. Less production. And normally production up. Food. Anomaly production down. So I've got these the set of tiles beneath here. It should get interesting.
Okay. Thank you very much. What do you feel about me? Trusting. Hmm. Careful, trusting, trusting. I suppose because everyone's kind of in a position where no one's done anything bad much of anything else. Now, can I just see pearls sat on the landscape? I can just see pearls sat on the landscape. So, let's have a quick look to see what we can find. Let's just start hoovering up pearls with this absurdly fast-moving unit. If he gets into trouble, I'll just have another little retreat. Another empire, new empire plan available. Thank you. Next plan in ten turns. Fine. Alchemical alloys for Titan two weapons. Don't have that much titanium, but I'm happy to make my... So, plus one food, plus one food, plus one thing. So, we now should start no production of titanium. Oh yes, because I've not actually got the thing out yet, have we? Can I just buy that out for 82 gold? Yes. Yay! Now we're actually producing titanium. Ugh, creepy Dryder people. I'm assuming that Dryder might actually be a um, licensed term, otherwise they would use it, wouldn't they? Keep going, my friend. Keep gathering up these, these tasty, tasty pearls. Steel stalks. Level grass. <laughs> Sounds fun. Right. What have we got? A Seeker 2. Load of units coming out. Might leave the Seeker 2 where it is and just put the Speaker 3s out with the army. Ooh, I've got enough for one of these. Food stockpiles. Well, we're growing again in a bit. To the mill foundry for now. Growth. More production. Just hurry up and build me my army. I wonder where your army's gone. What the hell are your heroes doing? It's annoying, it doesn't remind you when you've got units that need moving. Anyway, more pearls. This way, it might actually be able to build another sky then. And certainly, the next winter comes around, we might be able to unlock more things. Another village. Let's uh, explore this area since this is going to be the region we're going to be looking in. If we um, get lucky and maybe find there's another Delver village up there, we'll be um, looking at doing them. Legendary building constructed. Museum of Auriga. That was annoying. We've got an opportunity to actually get around to building it. We need glass steel. Fine. Deposits have we got in this place? Die. Glass steel. Would be really handy. More titanium. It's the edge of there. Who are you? Who are you? Delvers. In the next region. Oh, that's slightly annoying. Carry on finding me pearls. Come on. Empire plan. I would like to carry on having cheaper units. Do I want building buyout reduction? Building cost reduction would be very nice, actually. So let's spend cheaper units cheaper buildings for the next 20 turns or so. Plus 20% science. Which means I should spaff this little light just a little bit quicker. I could build another Garth, apparently. Oh, because I've got the pearls. That's what most of what they cost. So the development is primarily built on pearls. Alright. There's a huge amount of food. And some more science. 
They are expensive, aren't they? Come on. Sorry, this is mostly an episode of me getting turn, 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 turn. I hit turn faster. I was hoping they'd have done some more damage. Our chemical armor. Right, there's something we can do. Let's go fish out our hero. And get him some tasty weapons. Tier 2 titani titanium crossbow. Titanium armor. And tier 2. It's improved damage on the ring. Glory or death. What does glory or death do? Plus one round per adjacent enemy? No. High ground. I'd rather have the improved movement. Improved vision. Can't afford that one. Army damage boost. What's that undo? Plus 8 damage to the army, plus 10% damage to the army. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll have that. More damage to minor factions. More fortifications. Plus 2 science when you're sat in the city. Glory or death, we had a look at. Improve damage for him. Nope, I'm happy with that. Spend 19 titanium. That's all that I got. And 33 gold. Making you absolutely nails. Come on, I want to fight. Yeah, you're close enough now that I feel the need to get, um, picky. Wow, that's a big ass pearl. Here we go over there next turn. Should have had them earlier. Anyway. Grabbing those means we can build the expansion, which means we can more, more things. So, you, you, you. 83 dust to retrofit you. Six turns till we can get two more army slots. Alright, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, but you, you and you, new army. Move out. <laughs> Sign a hero. You. You'd be so kind as to mash these people into the ground. Well, okay, so the, we've got our reinforcements turned up from here. So that just makes life. Uh, start with whole position, ready to fight. So we'll finish this episode on a quick fight. Just to get some more experiment players. I am happy with that deployment. Um, just go, actually, offensive and focus your fire on one of these guys and launch <laughs> extra damage because of the charge nice so that's what that symbol means is the extra damage because of the charge you guys should charge quite a bit you did nothing because of where you were okay you offensive a bit Move and then fire. Go. Two movement points spent. 42 points of damage. Alright, so getting these guys to charge, leaving them on basically offensive, is pretty good. So that's a mistake I made when I was fighting the enemy last time. So it, it cycles through all the initiative order in case someone's got some kind of resurrection or otherwise interesting power. 7 XP, fine, dismiss. Let's uh, just go ahead and talk to these people, if nothing else. 15 glass steel. Not that interested. They should infiltrate the spy on the city. 
Not that interested. I will, however. Um, I can't lose this with the glass steel. Do I have enough action points? Fair enough, I guess. Okay, fine. And the turn, and we're just going to get rid of these guys. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to have these guys right on my border. Offensive, all out, ready to fight. And just move these guys up. I can't quite tell where the border is on where I can and where I can't put units. Okay. Uh, I don't need really my reinforcements for now. Ready. Um, uh, let's focus fire, if you please. This is why it goes all the way over here. I'm trying to move up and head that way, but go. Yeah, I don't quite know what the advantage of you running forward is, but apparently extra health when he's around. Tagged him pretty hard. Wow, these guys have got a lot of movement. Speed of five. Wow. And that all adds as a boost when they're attacking. Yeah, just go again. I mean, the hero's probably going to kill the guy. A lovely graphic style and artwork on these. They are very pretty people, aren't they? Cycle through the initiative order to see everything's wrapped up. Everyone forms up, and we now have a pacified village. Yep, failed. Burnt it down because it was easier. Now, go back to... Well, we've got some uh, huts and things we can have a look at and explore. We might as well just do a bit of looting while we're waiting for the rest of the army to build, build up. That's gold. It's not a hut. Where are our huts? There's a hut. Pointless boating. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be an episode. Wine booster. Yeah, I'll keep that for later. Thank you very much for watching, late. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Endless Legend Shifters. Please remember to like and subscribe to see more of this quite beautiful game.